And first at five, protecting our power and water supply. When the power went out in the 2021 February freeze, so did the water for many of us. But now the city's two utilities say that they're working together on a system of backup generators. So that won't happen again. Garrett Berger joins us now live from CPS at a meeting at CPS where SAWS and the energy boards voted a little over an hour ago to allow this plan to move forward. So Garrett, why now? Now, of course, it all comes from the freeze, but specifically from a state law that resulted from that February freeze. The new law requires SAWS to have an emergency power plan that would keep water pressure levels above what you'd need for boiling water. Now, the water utility had been advised back around 2015 to add generators for pumping stations, but an exec tells us power was so reliable they didn't think it was necessary at the time. Since the freeze, that view has obviously changed. Part of their new plan would establish generators at, or their new plan would establish generators at roughly 36 sites to serve as backups. 15 of them, natural gas generators shared with CPS. With SAWS footing the bill of about 97 million to acquire and install the shared generators and then CPS Energy operating them. If we have another event where ERCOT is asking CPS to reduce power, our generating stations at those pumping stations will keep the city in water pressure. We will have water if we have another event like that. CPS would also get to use the generators to add more power onto the grid when they need it, and the revenues would be split between the two. We asked both utilities how this would affect your rates. Now for CPS, they say it wouldn't. And for SAWS, it's less clear because although they say the shared generators will not contribute to higher rates, their plan also includes over $100 million more million for diesel power generators at the other 21 sites. And the effect of that on rates still hasn't been determined. Now, the SAWS exec calls this a win-win for the two utilities, and both boards passed this unanimously. But it's, ex it's expected to take about seven years to get it all in place. Live at CPS Energy Headquarters, I'm Garrett Berger, KSAT 12 News.